it's your boy Nico the Virgo and I'm back with another video and I'm here to just talk about the real way to build an Impala SS. Now this is basically a response video to the guy on TikTok. His name is the car the black car guru, which is a lot of people don't deserve the name car guru. I mean the real gurus don't you know, they're, they're very humble. You got you got guys like Carl Elwine, who are very, very humble. They would never call themselves a guru. Mike Harris would never call himself a guru. It's different people in the, the game of these cars specifically that would never call themselves a guru. Once you call yourself a guru, that makes me look at you as you're not a guru, okay? Who does that? It's you're really overly tooting your own horn, all right? So the main thing is what you really do is, because see, what he recommended is, uh, if you're a purist, that's really kind of got me into it. If you're a purist, he said, and you don't want to go at last, this, that, and the third, right? Now, <laughs> uh, even the guys in the group are all chiming in, and they're all saying, like, oh, man, this is, to, to us, it's comedy because it's like we all know what's good. We all know. Doing the modifications that he was recommending on a stock transmission, <laughs> stock gears, stock stall is about as dumb as you. Even the Edelbrock air gap is comedy to us. You know, yeah, he he did his homework with the tip performance. The tip performance, you know, they're not far from me. They're down in Carolina, like right close to the Virginia border. They're very knowledgeable people. Um, they even have, you know, the grub worm. They're behind that. You know what I mean? The grub worm is literally a record holding GM. It's one of it's the fastest in the country as far as a GM H pattern. It's an LT1 car. So, yes, tip performance, they know their stuff. He got it right with the cam selection. But he did not mention heads. He did not mention stall. He did not mention suspension. He did not mention gears. It's a lot of stuff that he didn't mention. The tune, he didn't mention the tune. It's a lot of stuff. I'm here to bring you in. Say, hey, forget all that. A lot of that stuff ain't even necessary. If you really look in and you really do your homework, right, you do not need a stroker. Check that top ET page, man. I've already got a video showing the top ET page. Go on there yourself. I'll link it down in the comments. Go check the top ET page. There's a lot of these cars that have stock displacement with the proper cylinder head selection, the proper tune the proper stall the proper gears all that everything is proper you can really put down some serious numbers okay look at mike harris he's literally in scat pack numbers with a 350 350 all right go to the top et page i didn't say it go look at it yourself all right you don't even oftentimes you don't even need heads in the cam see i've shown that you don't need heads in a cam or just a cam alone to get into the 13s, the low 13s at that. Check my video for that also. Let me check my page for that also. So the real way to do it, right, you start from the back to the front. I like how the sun is showing off the SS. Sorry. Uh, start from the back to the front. <laughs> All right. Don't need anything about LS swapping until you do this. All right, it's different levels to this shit, man. It's different levels. Okay, start from the back. What I mean from the back is, literally, all right, I'm lining up. Start from the back to the front. I'm so serious, all right? What I mean by the back, do your cat back. You see them pipes? Do your cat back. Start with that, all right? Then after that, that's when you, okay, you, you kind of cheat a little bit, all right? Go do your intake. But when you do your intake, don't spend a whole lot of money. Do a homemade intake. Go as cheap as you can with the intake, all right? Do a throttle body bypass. Those two things are very cheap and very, very easy to do. Modifications that actually have been proven to, you know, give you some type of numbers to the wheels, all right? Not a whole lot, but it's there, okay? That being said, got your exhaust. Don't even do your headers yet. Don't tear into nothing. Don't unbolt anything just yet, all right? I have an air gap in mind, but it's not mandatory, it was cheap. I got it for like ten dollars, whatever. It was there, boom. Okay. Now you go back to the back. 
Now, you only went to the front because it's very cheap. You're not tearing anything open. You're not opening anything up. You're not stashing anything out. No. Very simple stuff. All right. Very, very subtle. Okay. Boom. Get back with me. We're going back to the back. Now, after you got all that simple stuff out of the way, you do your gears. Okay. Do your gear swap. Nine times out of 10, this is a damn 30 year old car. Your rear end is probably on its way out anyway. You probably don't have both wheels spinning, this and the third. So a, a rebuild is really good for the for the rear end. Now, depending on how healthy it is, you might just you can get away with just gears, but you might need a whole new positive unit. I'll show, you know, the different positive units out there. You can get one for 300. You can get the uh, the one, you know, the Eaton rear. You can get that shit. Um, that's one, you know, that's that's the one to get is the Eaton, the, the Detroit locker. All right. Get that. $600. Get the gears. Uh, the, the ring of pain, get the reluctant, get all that stuff. I got my whole thing rebuilt for like fifteen hundred dollars. Very cheap. Got it done in Carolina though. Everything seems in Carolina. Anyway, push it on. Do your rear. Then that's when you push on. Now, if you have, you start to get vibrating and all that, get you a dry a, a dry shaft off of a Crown Vic from the junk yard. If you're bearing, if you're being cheap, or just get one from Denny's. Get the Denny's Denny's uh rear. You'll get the dry shaft, the aluminum. It's balanced. Get that, you know, installed. If it's vibrating, I don't have vibration vibration issues. I put this bitch all the way, all the way to goddamn 142 miles per hour, and I have not had any issues with vibrating. Okay, don't judge me. Judge your uncle. Okay, um, no vibrating. Cool. Push it forward. All right. Come on. Come on with me. All right. Transmission. Okay. And install. All right. Transmission. With install, the only issue with that is overheating. Okay, with my tune that I have, I have a street tune. I got it made. You know, the street tune is done by Jeff Creech, a very proven guy as far as tuning LT1 cars. He works on, you know, Carolina Auto Masters, you know, very proven. Uh, also, what that is, the tune is about as real of a tune as you can get. So I kind of got it made. Okay, but still, you can get this done with a PCM tune. What I did was I got the fans cut on at 160. But that also does is that since the oil lines are in line with the radiator, that means that. You know, when the radiator is staying cool, the fans are blowing on the lines. That in turn keeps the lines cooler. So that also helps the fluid stay cool. So it also would in turn help the overheating issues with the higher stall converter. With a stall converter, if you're not getting, I'll insert car L, L lines comment. Just him saying it alone should just prove everything. All right. Some people have got, you know, they do 36 because they plan on doing a cam. Actually, we also didn't recommend with those cams. Each of those demands you to have it literally in when you go to the page, it tells you you need a 28 plus stall on those cams. A lot of cams demand you to have a higher stall. A lot of cams demands you to have gears. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's right there. It's, it's you really got to dig, dig deep into it. You can't listen to a lot of these people. That's why you got to mess with me. Mess with your boy. I'm a tell you the real i'm a, not gonna tell you nothing that i'm not gonna do myself all right so boom push it forward went through this converter talk about the gears and all that that's when you worry about the engine that's when you get the cam that's when you start planning on hmm, what uh you know stoker components should i get what this what that what business what pistons should i get with this and that uh, what air got what intake that's when you call see you don't even touch the top you touch the bottom man you give Lloyd Elliott a call when you're ready for this. Call him and tell him your plans. He's one of those companies that, you know, he he's he likes to talk. He knows these cars. He knows the LT1s. He's actually in the Impala SS forum on a website. So he's very involved. He knows what's up. You talk to him. You give him a call. And he'll tell you what's going on. Tell you what, what to do with your converter. Tell you what to do with your gear. Tell you what to do with, you know, what cam you should go with. He'll, you know, custom grind you a cam. This and a third. Now, the cams are very hard to get right now, so it might be a wait. But, like I said, the wait is worth it because you're getting it done properly. The cylinder head selection, that's important also. Car L, I mean, uh, Lord Elliott will hold into that. So, what that being said, I ain't even got to the stroker part yet. Like I said, it's stock displacement of these cars that are doing Hellcat numbers. Not even exaggerating. Go check that top ET page. They've been in the scat numbers. <laughs> we ain't even got to talk about that. Um, you know what I mean? It's, a stroker is not exactly needed. A stroker is not. It's a lot easier. It gives you better torque, but it's not needed to get a fast car. 
the Edelbrock air gap. There's, there's no point in that. There's no point. Don't waste your money on that. You can get your existing intake ported by Lloyd Elliott. Okay. Also, you have local porters around in the, that, that can do it. So, like I said, can't listen to everybody. This is the real way to do it. The only way to do it actually is multiple guys that have 383s. There's actually, one guy that I seen, uh, since he doesn't own a car, I'm going to say the name. Rubber City Motoring, check his video out. He went on the track. Uh, there's other guys that had heads and count cars that only did so, so good. And there's even one up there, you know, that has full bolt-ons, no gears, but a very poor stock. Uh, a poor, it's not stock, but it's a very poor rating. It's at 2,200. Only did, you know, a, a high 14. So you don't want to be that guy that puts a bunch of money and only gets near stock numbers, okay? Don't be that guy. Really get your rest of your drivetrain right. Get an A1. That's the key to really build this thing right. So, oh, I forgot. This too. Suspension, okay? Get your suspension right, all right? That's another thing. Suspension and your braking. If you're going fast, I really hone in on the braking too, right? The, uh... The, what is it called, man? The the the, the brake mod. The, the we change the valve proportioning of the 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 brakes. You really need to hone in on all that stuff. It's more than just going fast. Cause if you go fast, you got to stop, right? If you're trying to haul ass, you got to be able to keep all that weight distribution even, right? So the suspension matters. Okay. So it's your boy Nico De Virgo, and that's basically the end of the video. If you got more questions, drop them down in the comments. Basically, if you got a question, I probably already answered it in the previous video. Just go check my previous videos. It's your boy Nico DeVirgo. That's the end of the video.